Minecraft is a video game that has a lot to offer. At its core, it's, it's very open-ended. If you want to have an adventure, you can have an adventure. If you want to build something, you can build something. If you want to talk to your friends, you can talk to your friends. If you want to kill monsters, you can kill monsters. So the game appeals to a lot of people. It makes a lot of sense to take a game that is already fun, that, that is proven to be enjoyable to kids, and, and, and try to find a way to bring it into the classroom. So you go here, Minecraft, EDU launcher. How do you oh, that should be it. Imagine how long this took Brandon to make. Oh, I know. Oh, he just drops you from all the way up there. You know, my school, as well as many others, have been struggling with the issue of how to teach digital citizenship, which is internet ethics, online safety, privacy, research, I mean, it's, it's everything. Because as our kids were getting into middle school and high school, we had a lot of, you know, frankly, ugly incidents happen. And so, you know, the school's administration, along with the computer department, decided we really need to start teaching these concepts earlier. You know, we're going to treat the game world as part of the classroom. It is a classroom, it's just in the, in the digital space. And almost every single kid finally kind of came around and sort of, and, and got it. Go ahead and let's start off by getting in, following the instructions that are up onto the board. Okay, you are students. Pick your avatar. Pixel Pushers, as a student project here at the ETC, is working with Minecraft EDU to develop a series of, of software features for their software. So our programmers have been working on a quiz block and a lesson review tool to include in the Minecraft EDU software. Uh, while we're also working on researching, you know, how and what you can best teach with Minecraft. You can really teach a wide array of things that aren't immediately obvious. The kids have to think it's fun, otherwise what's the point? There's plenty of educational games out there and frankly, very, very few of them have ever been very satisfying for me. Um, I never wanted to use them in my classroom because it, it smells like school. Make sure you're using the right material. Make sure you're not using gravel for the, the parts that are uh, in between the, the pillars there because the gravel will fall. Let's check out group two. Oh, nice. You finished, uh, you're almost done with one of the hardest shapes. Good job. In our research, we started out asking, what can Minecraft teach? As we actually started playtesting with students, we found that that might be the wrong question and that it's, it's more interesting to ask, how can Minecraft teach? The virtual world of Minecraft, I think, is, 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 is fun and powerful you know, for these kids. And I think they, they, they get it in a way that I think some of their teachers don't sometimes. I think the most important thing for someone coming to Minecraft from an educational perspective is to just play the game. To get a feel for how the game works. And then perhaps even more importantly, let the students play the game. You have to think about where 21st century kids are living. I mean, they come here in school, but they're texting each other on the way home, and then they're on Facebook, and then they're playing games together. It's all a continuum. They don't separate the conversations that they have typed into Minecraft with the ones that they have in the lunchroom. There's such excitement around this game getting that excitement into schools all over the world. The more voices we have coming up with ideas and creating content and sharing content, the better.